It was just before midnight on December the 30th, 1978, that this Argosy aircraft took off in New Zealand on a newspaper delivery run. It followed the route taken 10 days earlier by a plane which had reported weird flying objects off the Kaikoura coast, objects confirmed by radar controllers in Wellington. Now a TV crew was on board with Australian reporter Quentin Fogarty. We're now approaching the Clarence River where the highest concentration of UFOs was sighted on the morning of December the 21st. We're at an altitude of 14,000 feet and we're on exactly the same route taken by Captain Bell when he encountered those mysterious objects. It's a beautiful clear night outside and naturally we'll be looking out for anything unusual. Hardly had Fogarty spoken when things began to happen. Uh, we've just heard from Wellington Radar that we've uh, got an object about a mile behind us and it's following us. Let's hope they're friendly. It's uh, really getting uh, a bit frightening up here. There's a whole formation of un unidentified flying objects behind us. But there were closer encounters to come. On the return journey from Christchurch, Fogarty spotted another object. It was extremely bright, much brighter than any of the other stars in the sky. Now it's just dimmed, it's, it's gone. It's back again, it appears to be going behind the cloud. I can't quite make up whether in fact it's going behind the cloud or whether in fact the light is just dimming. No, it's... such a bright light, it's lighting up the clouds around it. This is by far the best of the unidentified flying objects we've seen so far. According to our cameraman, David Crockett, who's been filming it for the past few moments, it appears to have a brightly lit bottom and a transparent sort of sphere on top, so it appears to be, well, like a, a flying saucer. We've got another one. Right in front of us. Very bright. Giving off an orange flashing light. It looks like a, an aircraft beacon. It seems to be rolling and turning. Oh, I don't know. I really don't know what's going on. After the plane landed at Blenheim, the investigation began. Skeptics suggested they'd seen the planet Venus, but most of the film was taken more than half an hour before Venus could have been visible. An American Navy physicist, Dr. Bruce Maccabee, analyzed the film and rejected theories that it showed meteors or ships or birds. Several of the objects had shown up on radar screens. One of them had left this extraordinary trail on a single frame of film. And although the start of this sequence is out of focus, some frames seem to show what the TV crew and pilots said they'd seen. A luminous base with a transparent top. Dr. Maccabee's conclusion, no known explanation could account for all the facts.